Good morning, my YouTube viewers. Crystal here. I'm just here this morning because I wanted to make another video. I've been working on normalizing and scaling data, and what I wanted to learn was how to do it by scratch. Because you've got the SK Learn Library, and the SK Learn Library has the min max scaler, which is the normalizing, and then they have a standard scaler, which is a different type of scaler. And then you can also inverse it using min-max scalar. You can inverse it. And using the standard scalar, you can inverse that as well. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to know how to do this from scratch because I thought it was important to my data science learning to learn how to do it from scratch. So this was all prompted because I was looking at an sklearn toy data set that's already been scaled. And I'm trying to find out how to find how to find the um, original values from scaled data. And I haven't found it yet. I found out how to normalize and denormalize data and scale data and descale data. But I haven't found out how to find the original values from data that's been scaled. So I'm going to keep looking and see if I can make any progress in that area because it's something that I feel that I really need to know for my data science learning. In order for me to learn how to scale data and descale data, I had to get some information from a website and do it because you have to make sure that you get the formula correct when you're programming. If you don't get the formula correct when you're programming, then the figures won't calculate correctly. So, um, since I couldn't get the formula correct, um, I had to borrow someone else's data. So, for the formula, for the normalized data, I borrowed the formula from this website right here, from Martin Fourier. And then I wrote a little program to do it. And the reason why I wrote a little program to do it is because I wanted it um, to be um, documented what I've done. So he did the normalized data, but I took his style and used it to standardize the data. But the thing is, is that you have lots of formulas or lots of websites on how to normalize data, and you have a very small selection of websites on how to denormalize de data. Um, but I haven't really found anything that shows you how to find the original values when it's already been scaled. So that's going to be something I'm going to be trying to find is the original values when it's already been scaled. So I created this small little program in uh, Google Copilot. And um, Google Colab is an online Jupyter notebook that has the libraries already installed. But I will say that what I found out is it doesn't use the most current version of the library. So if you want to use like a really new function or a new parameter, then it might not show up on Google Colab, which means you would have to install the most current version of the library onto Google Colab to get it to work, which is one thing that I had to do. So what we did was we imported the libraries. We just imported NumPy and Pandas. NumPy is a mathematical library, and Pandas is a library that lets you work with data frames, um, and Pandas is written on top of NumPy. I created a data frame of numbers 1 to 25 just so I could have some information to work with. And then I used the NumPy library to convert this data frame to an array because it needs to be an array. And then I set my value. So we said um, D min equals 1, D max equals 25. D mean equals 13, D standard equals 
now what we did was we normalized the data and then we used the standard formula of data minus d min over d max minus d min and that normalizes your data and then we denormalize the data norm times d max minus d min plus d min and then that standardized your data sorry that denormalized your data now we want to standardize standardize the data so that stand equals data minus d mean over d standard and then we destandardize the data that's d stand equals stand times d stand plus d mean so that concludes it for this very small program because this small program is really just to um just give you a heads up just give you um understanding on how to do things from scratch because in order to progress in data science you need to learn how to do things from scratch so this concludes my presentation on this very small program that i've written with the help of martin foyer if you like my video please like subscribe and share if you want to be notified whenever I make new videos, please tick on the bell button besides the subscribe button and you will get notification whenever I uh, make a new video. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to support me, I've got my email address to my PayPal account in the description box down below. And um, I do that because I don't have enough subscribers, so I can't monetize. So if you want to support me, that would be great. It would help me carry on making videos and studying data science and making blog posts for you to look on YouTube. So I hope you have a very nice day and you got something out of this video. And um, see you next time.